Hi everybody. I don't know if, like me, you were looking for the three-star bull moose, or still are looking for it through your uh, your Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. Now, I can assure you that in 2021, this is still working. However, it only worked for me after a moose just naturally spawned. Before that, I had tried all the tricks, all the spawns, everything that had been on YouTube, and none of it was working. And then... In this moment, I was on my way somewhere, I can't remember where, but a moose naturally spawned, which you'll see the video here shortly. And then afterwards, I checked it, and both spawn points that I was able to find online worked out just great. So you'll see that here. And so I just want to let you know what you're looking for is to just find a, news, a moose naturally, and then maybe the spawns might work, because that's what I've noticed happens on my game. So thanks. So you can see here it was only a two star moose, but I was completely surprised. I was like, holy crap, it's a moose. But then I was like, all right, I got the antlers at least. Um, and then I thought to myself, I wonder. And I went to go check the spawns, and you'll see later on here that, yeah, the spawns are now working. So for those of you who may not know, this is one of the best spawns right here that's on the map, in the right between the I and the N. Uh, you can see where I have the animal carcass right there, although I should have been able to zoom in here. But yeah, that is the best spot, and you'll see in the video where we're going to be at. So I came up here, plum surprised, three-star bull moose, and now this spawn is outside of the... Uh, reachable area of the map, though it doesn't make sense, but you can't really go up this hill all that much. But there he is, sitting there, and just waiting to be plucked. Now, I was told by an associate, who I will link in the description, that the bait wasn't working anymore, so I was already kind of like feeling like, oh god, this isn't going to work, what am I going to do? It's the existential dread had set in, as I'm sure you all know. So this time I am just kind of nervous, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I don't know if the bait's going to work or not. Like, like I said, I was told it wouldn't. So what do I do? I think to myself, do I shoot at it? Try to scare it the opposite way? So I'm stubborn. I think to myself, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get up there. Maybe my game's different. Maybe this will work. Um, so I paused it for some time, as you saw. And then I start making my rounds. I'm like, all right, I'm going to try and go up and around here, see what I can get through. Because, yeah, that's going to be a good idea. Essentially, I wasted a bunch of time, so don't do what I did. So dumb. Right, right, right. So I tried this a few times, as you can see, kept slipping. And then I decided, you know what, I'm going to put the, the bait close to him and see if that works. And, uh, yeah, it did. So the skinning animation messed up, but there we go. Perfect pelt, mature meat, moose antlers. I was very pleased and very surprised. So what you're going to want to do is fast travel to Coulter, the first place that you were at the beginning of the game. So you fast travel over there and then when you get there, um, I'll show you the steps that you're going to take in order to make the moose spawn and where it spawns. Alright, so you're in Coulter. You're just going to want to ride up all the way to the end of the town where those broken down buildings are. 
Uh, and I do believe that this works best if you arrive there in the morning time, although I can't confirm because I've only seen this work one time on my game, although on the other multiple YouTube channels it worked several times. So here, I'm just kind of admiring my level 10 beard, which was a lot of fun to get. But yeah, so what you're going to do is walk past the town, make a right, go directly the direction that I'm going. There's going to be a grouping of trees with two boulders next to them. You're going to see me hop up on the boulder here by accident because it's foggy. I can't see what I'm doing. But you keep moving up the hill through this shrubbery. And if you stop right there, right here where I'm at, you can see I pull out the binoculars, but I can't see anything. Is this, there's just too much fog, uh, too much snow, or whatever you call that. Is it fog or snow? Somebody comment. But yeah, so there I'm thinking about shooting that bald eagle, and I don't know if this is going to work. Again, I was just kind of giving it a try immediately after that first moose that you saw earlier. And so I just kind of look around, scope. I have a general idea of where it is. It's going to be this hill that's directly across the way. It's like a little rock face, a, a rock drop. And so yeah kind of waiting, just waiting, anticipating. I took it off, pan up ever so slightly. I think this is when I find it. And there it goes. Western Bull Moose, three star. I couldn't believe it. Because I had tried this like 10 times, maybe more. Uh, yeah, it was definitely more than 10 times. But here it was. I couldn't believe it. And so this was after I just kind of had given up and was just playing the game again. And then there it goes. A moose spawned naturally, and I took it out, and then the spawn points seemed to work. Uh, I guess before I made this video, I should have checked if it worked again, but I'm lazy, and here we are. Look, I'm actually pretending to like really hunt by hiding in the bushes. So thanks for your time, and happy hunting, and happy gaming. Y'all take care. That's that, Dan.